Upon the 2 0 victory over Northampton, that I guess it's quite good to get that winning feeling back at home. Yeah, obviously it's been a while since we've won at home, and obviously the uh, bad news we had during the week about Ted, uh, all the lads knew that we had to win this game and dedicate it to him. So we're not winning a while, and obviously get a three points for Ted and our home record as well. What's the mood like in the dressing room after that? I'm guessing it's quite it's buzzing after that one, isn't it? Yeah, everyone's happy. Uh, obviously, back to back wins, not done that for a while. Uh, three clean sheets and a bounce, so. Uh, we're going in the right direction where we need to be but like I said there's still uh, a lot to improve on the performance as well. well you mentioned there the two clean sheets and the bounce and now I'm guessing for you as a team it's good to do that but also give the licence to the forwards to go and get those goals and give you the win really isn't it? Yeah definitely we need to be uh, hard to beat that's the most important thing was, as a group we know we're all underperforming and uh, conceding too many too many goals individual errors team errors so uh, people not doing the job so that's the first thing we nailed down and uh, we're doing it a lot better with defending as a team from the front and uh, everyone doing the job set pieces. And when you look at the first half, Carl Dempsey got his first goal of the season in the, in the 18th minute of the match. Um, again, a game where you think that Northampton didn't really have too much to go forward, but going forward to Fleetwood, there was plenty of positives, wasn't there? Yeah, Carl uh, had a great game today. Uh, very energetic, he deserved his goal. It's been coming for a while, he nearly scored a bit at Rochdale. He's uh, too much energy for some midfielders, he just runs off him and he's got He's got bags of ability, uh, should be getting more goals and like I said, he might be able to kick on now he's got his first goal for Fleetwood this season. Uh, similar to Tuesday's performance really, uh, first half was a bit sloppy, uh, a bit slower and uh, second half would come out on, uh, on the front foot and uh, win more second balls and played a lot better. Yeah, you mentioned on the front foot there and the second goal came in the 83rd minute, your defender partner uh, Keane Bowles got the goal, I'm guessing you're quite happy for him to get on the score sheet. Yeah definitely, he got uh, I think 6-7 last season so he's not scored for a while himself so uh, Ash come close in the first half and uh, Keane managed to score in the second half and we caused them a few problems on set pieces today. We had a couple of half chances so we always felt we could uh, and that was an area where we could score today. And for you it's been an emotional 40 hours with the passing of Vice President Ted Lowry. Just some of the last few days please. Yeah it's been uh, obviously a fan out on the news for through Will what early in the morning and uh, just knew obviously when you get a phone call at that time of the morning off Will uh, obviously the first thing comes to mind was Ted. And obviously, it brought the, uh, the unfortunate news, and uh, I told the lads, and uh, I said, This is hard to take. Uh, it's been a great servant to the club. And like I said, the lads, we knew we had to win this game for him, and we dedicated a victory to Ted. And the fans as well, they were great, weren't they, with the minute silence and all throughout the game as well? Yeah, definitely. It's a very emotional, obviously, the chill come down, put a reef centre circle, minute silence. Uh, the crowd was superb today as well. Uh, obviously, to play, start a game of football after all that emotion as well. Obviously, the lads who know him have known him a very long time, obviously, been at the club a long time. And uh, it's difficult to keep your concentration. But I thought the lads, it's a bit sloppy to start again. But obviously, we cleared our minds, we got going in there. Like I said, we've got a result and we dedicated to Ted. Yeah, we're two back to back wins now. Going into the game on Good Friday against AC Wimbledon, there's so many positive elements to take forward to that. And again, hopefully, get further away from the relegation zone. Yeah, it's, uh, it's another big game. These are games you want to play in, obviously. Rochdale, big game. Yeah, best, we have to win that. And uh, obviously, Northampton today is a massive game. But like I said, Wimbledon, I think they're five points behind us, four points behind us now. Uh, another, another tough, tough game away from one, but it's going to do the same thing.